Simulator. A simulator is a special x-ray machine used to plan and or check the planned treatment area. It is not used for giving radiotherapy treatment but looks similar and mimics the treatment machine. During your simulator appointment you will meet radiation therapists who operate the machine and discuss the treatment with you. You will also meet the doctor who will decide where to give the treatment. During this appointment more tattoos may have to be given. Using special pens marks may be placed onto the skin that may be washed off once you get home. This appointment takes approximately 30 minutes. Following on from this planning x-ray you will be given an appointment to start your radiation therapy treatment. Linear Accelerator A linear accelerator is a treatment machine that uses high energy radiation to treat cancer with precision. The machine looks similar to the simulation machine used to plan the treatment. You will be positioned on the couch or table as you were in the simulator and the machine is aimed exactly at the treatment area. This machine moves around the body without touching you. The whole process takes approximately 15 minutes and is painless. The radiation therapists are not in the room with you while you're having your treatment. They are monitoring you from outside the room with cameras and an intercom system. You will only be in the room by yourself for approximately 5 minutes. Radiation therapy does not usually involve a hospital stay but a series of outpatient visits instead. Most people visit the department for radiation therapy on a daily basis ranging from one to eight weeks. This will depend on the type and location of the cancer. You will be informed of the total duration of treatment on your first visit. Brachytherapy Brachytherapy is only given to certain areas of the body. This process involves placing radioactive material into the body. If the doctor decides to give you brachytherapy, he or she will discuss it in further detail with you. A specialist radiation therapist will also speak with you and answer any questions you may have. The number of brachytherapy treatments given varies from 1 to 5. Side effects. The damage to cells is what causes temporary side effects during and after treatment. The degree to which people experience side effects varies. The following sections highlight some of the most common side effects, both short and long term. It is important to stress that not everyone will experience all of these side effects. Different parts of the body experience different side effects. Most side effects should disappear by the time treatment has ended, but very rarely they may be severe and long term. Short term. Tiredness. You may feel tired near the end of your treatment and after you finished your course of treatment. When possible, Allow yourself time to relax and rest when needed. Gentle exercise is also important to help reduce tiredness. Skin care. Some people may develop a reddening of the skin in the treated area two or three weeks into their treatment. This will vary depending on people's skin types. Appropriate advice and treatment can be given when necessary. Clothing Whilst having treatment, it is best to wear loose-fitting clothing around the treatment area. This allows the skin to breathe. Eating and drinking During treatment, it is best to increase your fluids, such as water or diluted juices, 
as radiation therapy can dehydrate the body. Approximately one and a half liters of fluids is recommended. This should include your entire daily fluid intake. It is best to keep alcohol to a minimum. It is also important to reduce the amount of tea and coffee as they act as a diuretic. This means that you may want to go to the toilet more often. It is important to eat a healthy diet and avoid losing weight. A dietitian is available in the department if required. Smoking For everyone receiving radiation treatment, but especially to the head, neck, lung or esophagus, it is best to stop smoking. Bowel changes While having radiation to the pelvic area, some people may notice a change in their bowel movements. You should inform the radiation therapist on the treatment machine who will advise you on your eating habits and refer you on to a dietitian if necessary. Bladder changes Bladder irritation may occur if the pelvic area of the body is being treated. Hair loss Hair loss only occurs in the area that is being treated. Once the radiotherapy is complete, the hair usually grows back. This can take between 6 and 12 months. In some cases, however, regrowth may not be complete. Mouth soreness and dryness The mouth and throat may become inflamed and sore during the course of treatment of the head and neck area. As your treatment progresses, slight swelling may occur, chewing and swallowing may become increasingly difficult, resulting in loss of appetite. If your throat is being treated, you may also become hoarse. It is important to take extra care of your mouth and teeth and to rest your voice to reduce these side effects. These problems are usually temporary and resolve soon after treatment has finished. Long-term side effects Fatigue Fatigue is a common side effect of having radiation therapy. These side effects differ for each individual ranging from weeks and months to years especially if radiation therapy is combined with other treatments such as chemotherapy. Hair loss Hair loss is a side effect of having radiation therapy to certain parts of the body. These side effects differ for each individual ranging from months to years especially if radiation therapy is combined with other treatments such as chemotherapy. Sexual activity Having radiation treatment to certain pelvic areas such as the prostate, cervix or vagina can result in loss of sexual desire. These side effects can be short or long term. The doctor will advise you on how to deal with it. Other services not all these services are offered in all radiation therapy departments. If you would like to know more about your treatment, you are welcome to attend the department's welcome evening. It aims to reduce anxiety and stress and involves a tour of the department, a demonstration of the planning and treatment process and treatment, an opportunity to answer any questions you have in a relaxed atmosphere over a cup of tea. The evening takes place once a month lasting approximately two hours and will be hosted by a radiation therapist. The Look Good Feel Better program also takes place on a monthly basis. This program is organized for female patients actively having cancer treatment. It is a two-hour pampering session where beauticians demonstrate how to apply makeup and conceal or enhance facial areas affected by chemotherapy or radiation therapy such as reddening of the skin or loss of facial hair. Each patient attending receives a makeup pack that is used during the session and is taken home afterwards. The session is aimed at allowing patients time to themselves to provide a mental boost during treatment. If you are interested, please inform a radiation therapist during your treatment. <laughs>